If you're curious about how we use stitches to close up wounds in the mouth, let me show you how. The medical term for stitches are sutures and using the right suture material is extremely important. And for me, this is the best suture material that's on the market for dental work. And these are the three things that you need. You need what's called a needle driver. In this case, this is a Castro Viejo needle driver. You need your tissue pickups, the suture material, and a patient. As you can see, the thread is already assembled into the suture. So we don't need to be threading the needle. So we grab the suture material about a third away from the hub of the suture and then pull it out of its case. These are very delicate tissues. So in order to cause minimal trauma, we use these microsurgical instruments and the motion is very gentle. So as you see, I'm using this driver almost like a pen and I drive it in just by turning the needle driver. I'm not forcing anything in or jamming it in there. So the needle goes in about two or three millimeters from the margin of the wound and then is gently turned. And it exits on the other side. And then you grab the needle from the other side and you gently pull it through. And now we repeat the motion. So we go from the inside edge of the wound back out to the other side. And the last thing we wanna do is tie this all together. So this is where we use what's called a surgeon's knot and it's all tied together. And now we go ahead and cut this part. You wanna leave about two or three millimeters so this doesn't open up. And there it is.